How's it going gamers? This is Rush Code, and we are back at it. Devlog number 19, I think. And in the last one, we made a door. And today we're going to be doing more of the classroom work, which is to build a table, build a chair, build a, an actual classroom, which really doesn't involve much. You just got to put tables in it. Uh, the chairs will come later, but that's to do with the functionality of the game itself, because the game is all about putting chairs in this uh, thing. So let's get right into it. So I've already prepared three more actor blueprint class uh, things. One for chairs, one for classrooms, one for tables. We're just going to jump into the table one first, open the blueprint editor. We need to go to the viewport and begin making a table. I'm probably going to make it to be based on a cube. And right now this cube is one by one meter across and one meter in height. So we're just going to change these settings. 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And this last one We'll make it really thin, so let's see, uh, 0 0.1 represents 10 centimeters. Yeah, that's good enough for now. And we're going to make a uh, some legs. We're going to make some legs for this, that's right. Can't have a table without legs. So, we're going to change this scale. Oh, hang on, actually, just double check this. So this cube right here, you see this cube, cube 1, it's in the wrong place. So we're going to attach that to the main root. And so cube 1 is going to have uh, very thin legs. So I want them to be, I suppose we can make them 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters wide. So we'll do 0 0.1, 0 0.1, because that's how scaling works. As for the height, I would say a table's about maybe 50 to 70 centimeters tall. So let's go with 60. That's about right. We'll put that up here. That looks just about where it should be. And I guess I can keep it that simple, really. So I'll just make it like a, like one of those cafe tables, right? <laughs> With a single leg in the middle. And the next thing we need to do is make a platform on the bottom to represent the area that we're going to cover. It just helps a bit. We don't need the platform per se, but it just, it's just nice to have it. So I'm going to copy this cube and just rename it to uh, Matt. And bring that down. Bring it across a little bit. And then scale it out a bit. Ooh too much. Okay, so that looks about right. We just need to scale it out. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, the next thing we want to do is make a box. So let's go box collision. And again, default attach. Okay, so the box collision needs to be somewhere around the middle of this here and the whole point of this box collision is so that it can pick up on uh, any player interactions that I do so for example when you step into this box area and collide with it if you use some kind of input key like E or F or something then it should trigger the box to activate or spawn a chair into this location that's the that's what we're trying to go for here and just so just to make sure this just to make sure that the chair spawns in the, into the right spot, I'm just preempting this by doing scene. So I'm going to put a scene in here. That's going to be the chair uh, attach point. Let's call it that. So chair attach point. Right. So that's at the bottom there right now. We want it to be around, uh, yeah, around there. It's, I'm, I'm just going to put it there in the in the middle of the air first. So, so at least that's roughly telling us where the chair needs to be uh, attached to. And this, this point needs to be matching the center of the chair. So let's go and make our chair and see if we can test out this functionality. So I'm opening the chair blueprint and again just need to make sure you open the full editor. Go into view, viewport, go to cubes. Let's make a cube. Um, this will be the this will be the seat. So again, I'm just going to make it the same as the table in terms of its size. So this will be 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay, so that's the seat. And then we'll just copy that and make this uh, the legs. So that's going to be 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and point. Uh, let's go with 0.4, pretty short legs. <laughs> and then. I would copy, actually I would, I need to bring this out here, don't I, because it's going to have, it needs to have uh, four legs. Yeah, so let's do that. I'm just gonna copy this. And I'm a bit lazy at naming right now, so just bear with me. It's, it's a very, very rough piece of work. 
All right, so we have this, and now we just need to do some kind of backrest for this. So again, copy that, put it... Uh, I would like to rotate it, so let's do that. Let's get sort of like that angle there, that works. Bring it over there, bring it like that. And bring it a little bit, bring it down. And perfect! Yeah, that straight up looks like a chair. <laughs> okay, so compile, save, and the, I guess the, let me see, the, the scene is down there. So what we really want to do is push this whole thing down to there. Actually, no, what we want to do is leave this where it is. So this scene down here, the default scene, that's where the attach point of this chair is. So if we go back to the table, we want to make sure this point is sort of at the bottom there, somewhere around, yeah, around there, I guess. And maybe make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Good, good. Now, back to the chair. And what we want to do is get this chair to attach to this table. So let's see if I can figure out how to make this work. We we need to get, let's see, what do we have here? We have a custom control and we have a pawn. The pawn is going to interact with that bit such that, um, we'll, we'll keep it simple for now, right? So we'll make it such that when the pawn collides with this box, it will spawn a chair in. So if we scroll down to our components uh, interactions here, component hit, overlap, uh, I suppose we'll go with component begin overlap. So when the box is overlapped with something, well, the something is going to be the pawn. So let's make sure we cast it to my pawn. And that's the other actor object in there. Okay, next thing is to spawn the chair in. So we're going to do spawn. Uh, spawn actor from class. Okay, and the class will be a chair. <laughs> and the next will be um, the location. So spawn transform. Let's split this up and see. Okay, so we have transform location, rotation, scale. Right, the location will be based on this chair attach point. So let's bring that out here. Pull that in. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, oh, right. We need to get the location of this. So get world location. I hope this is making sense. It's not a tutorial, but it's just uh, like, okay, this is what I'm doing. So, so you put this in there, transform location. And I think, I think that's enough. So let's just give that a go and see. So compile, save, play. Um, well, nothing's going to happen right now because there's no chair and table in here. So let's go back to the map and put a chair and table into this thing. Right. So I'm going to just drag in, uh, not the classroom, I'm going to drag in the table. And we don't need a chair because the whole idea is that the chair would spawn into this, uh, there's a scene point there. So let's play that and see what happens. Okay, so I'm walking up to this. Let's see if it spawns in. Boom! Look at that. Perfect. Now it is pointing the wrong way. And that's because... Uh, I think that's because I've built it the wrong way. So let's go back to this and see. So, well, that seems to be the front. What about the table? What does the table look like? Ah, yes. Wait, no, does this make sense? Ah, so notice how the red arrow is pointing this way. That's the forward vector. So I've actually built my table in the wrong orientation. What I need to do is... Well, I'd have to rebuild this, which has been annoying. So I think rather than doing that, I'll just rotate this. Actually, no, I can just rotate this, right? That sh should be fine. Okay, so we'll just do that. Rotate by 90 degrees. Um, oh, wait, I'll select this. No. How do you get this thing to rotate? So if you rotate that 90 degrees, okay, that works, but the this bit is in the wrong spot. So I'm going to move that to where it needs to go. Let's say about there. And make sure the chair attach point is where it needs to be. So let's see, that needs to be center. And that looks uh, that looks all right. Okay, so we're gonna save, play again. Let's see if this works. And boom! And ah, oh, oh, it's, <laughs> it's the wrong way around. Yes, this makes sense because I've actually rotated it the wrong way. I'm being kind of dumb here. So let's do a 180 on this.
Okay, I think I think that should work. If we do a perspective view from the top, let's see. So, okay, so that's the table. That's where the chair spawn point should be, and that's apparently forward. So if I go forwards, front, uh, I think that's right. We'll find out in a second. So go back to perspective, play. The time to charm, and boom! Yes, it worked. Now, the real question is what happens if I have, say, placed this in a different rotation, an angle like that, for example. Okay, so if I run that again, so now the table is at an angle, how will the chair come out? It'll come out wrong. Well, that makes sense because the, the if we go back to the graph, it's only getting the world location and trans transforming according to that. It needs to transform according to the rotation as well somehow. So I think if we get the rotation, get world rotation and plug that in there, it might work. Let's give it a go. Okay, so here we go. And well, yeah, it's a bit off. Again, this is this is all messed up because I built my table at the wrong angle. So I'll fix this up. I'll fix this up in the next video before the next video. Um, but you get the idea. Basically, there's a box, it's colliding, and then it spawns a chair in a particular point, which is great because then it's always having a fixed point at where it shows up rather than just spawning wherever you want it to. And the next step is to make a classroom. So let's go ahead and do that. The classroom is basically just going to be the, the placeholder for the tables so that we can go in there and play our game. So to make a classroom, it's going to be pretty big. Okay, so we've made the classroom essentially, but on this side of the wall, we want it to be having a door. So what I'm going to do is bring the door in by dragging it from the contents. Okay, so here we go. There's our door. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a big door. I guess we need to make these walls a bit taller. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so that's the classroom. Now we need to do something about this door. Bring it down somewhere to roughly where you want it to be. And there we go. So that's that's where the door is supposed to be. But what we want to do is make this wall open up for it. So and just keep scaling it until it makes sense. That's how game design works. <laughs> Alright, well, that looks roughly about right. I'll just bring this up a bit. And now we have a classroom. So the next step is to bring in a table. So there you go, we have four tables. And we can test this out now by saving and just going to our map dragging in a classroom and seeing if the door opens on it. So let's give it a play. Okay, so the door is open. I really need to fix that. We go in. If, it, if I overlap on any of these, it'll create chairs. Perfect. Look at that. Go through here. Perfect. And that's basically the entire game. So there you go. Just need to uh, spruce it up a bit. So in the next video, we're going to be looking at how to make proper functionality for these these items, making sure the chairs appear where they need to appear based on uh, key keyboard input, and then even looking at things like how to do a start menu, a pause pause menu, quit game, scorekeeping, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments below. If you liked it, smash like, hit subscribe to join the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!